Facing increased pressure to contain Ebola in the U.S. and West Africa, President Barack Obama has appointed an Ebola coordinator. Ron Klain, former chief of staff to Vice President Joe Biden, will oversee the nation's response to the outbreak as anxiety over three Texas cases intensifies. Nina Pham, one of two nurses infected while treating a Liberian man who died of Ebola at a Dallas hospital, is in isolation at the National Institutes of Health in Maryland. Her condition is fair, she is stable, and she is resting comfortably. She's getting optimum intensive care if needed therapy, but it's also being done with the optimum protection of our health care workers. The personal travel of the second nurse, Amber Vinson, now at Emory University Medical Center, touched off a flurry of protective measures. She flew from Dallas to Cleveland and back, possibly while symptomatic and contagious. Ebola is spread through bodily fluids. Health officials are monitoring anyone on Vinson's Frontier Airlines flights and several others, and anyone who visited a Summit County bridal shop when Vinson did. We have no cases of Ebola virus disease in Summit County. So make that very clear. Dozens of Vincent's colleagues at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital, who may also have been exposed, are now legally barred from public travel. And the government is working to get a hospital lab tech on a Caribbean cruise back home. She handled an Ebola specimen, has no symptoms some 19 days later, but is quarantined in her room aboard the ship. Many of the steps that we have taken have been taken out of an abundance of caution. In West Africa, Ebola has killed 4,500 people. The World Health Organization is admitting to mistakes in its handling of the outbreak, which the agency says was marred by incompetence and bureaucracy. Cindy Sharp, Associated Press.